everybody, my name is Lisa, and that may sound familiar to you because your teacher, Miss Blumberg, her first name is Lisa as well, so you won't forget my name. But what I thought would be fun today for you to learn about is about where eggs actually come from. How many of you like eggs? You may be saying, yuck, I can't stand eggs. My mom and dad make me eat eggs and I don't like them. And other people may be thinking, I love eggs. And think about all the ways that you love them. Scrambled and in omelets and in sandwiches and when you go out to breakfast in your, your neighborhood. So we're gonna talk a little bit about what it's like to raise chickens in your backyard and actually collect fresh eggs from them. And if you think about it, eggs are in a lot of other products. It's not just what you cook on the stove. Chocolate chip cookies have eggs, pancakes have eggs. Do they have eggs? Sometimes. Um, we put eggs in all kinds of different recipes. So eggs are very, very important. And it's important that we take good care of our chickens that are giving us the eggs. So here in Northern California, We've got farm fresh eggs, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Okay, so Northern California. You all live in Southern California. So California is a really big state. There's a Northern part where there's lots of trees and there's lots of greenery and lakes and the ocean. And then the Southern part where there's more desert and the ocean and some mountains up near Big Bear and Lake Arrowhead. So I live in Northern California in a, a city called Placerville. And Placerville is halfway between Sacramento, which is our, our, our state's capital, and Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and Lake Tahoe, California, which is about um, 52 miles to my east. So I am halfway in between. All right, so this is our chicken coop here. And my husband, Paul, built this chicken coop so that the chickens have lots of room to walk around in. We have four chickens, and um, their names are Lucy, Ethel, Carolyn, and Betty. So we're gonna meet Lucy, Ethel, Carolyn, and Betty right now. So follow me into the chicken coop. Okay. So we have a door here, just like you have at your house, and we're gonna come into the chicken coop, and look who's greeting us over there. Look who's greeting us. We've got, and I'm gonna come over and explain each one of the chickens to you. So we've got this white one down here. Her name is Carolyn. The one right behind her, that is Betty. And the one in the corner that's running, that's Ethel. And I think Lucy is inside of the chicken coop laying an egg. So let's take a look inside of the chicken coop and see, and you can put the camera right in there and see if Lucy's laying an egg. Is she in there? She is, she's laying an egg. There she is. Okay, let's talk about each one of these chickens and their breed. So chickens come in lots of different colors and lots of different breeds. And so we have, let's talk about Ethel. Ethel is a Buff Orpington. That's the name of her breed. And they're kind of a golden, kind of blonde color. They're big chickens and they lay big brown eggs. So I'm gonna be talking about the different colors of the chicken eggs as well. And then Betty, um, and let's zoom in on Betty here because she's kind of in the corner. Betty is what we call an Easter egger. And the reason we call her an Easter egger is because she lays a sage green egg. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a few minutes. And then Carolyn is also an Easter egger. They're coming around the corner here. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're nervous because of the camera. So come back on me. So. 
Carolyn is also an Easter egger. She is more white in color with some uh, some light brown on her. And her eggs are kind of a light blue color. So that's a little bit different. Um, the Buff Orpingtons do a brown egg. And then Lucy is called a red sex link. And she lays a brown egg as well. A little bit lighter brown than what Ethel lays. And Ethel lays the biggest eggs of all of the chickens. So inside of the coop, this is their hen house. This is what we call their hen house, and this is where they sleep at night. So when the sun goes down, the chickens automatically climb up this little ramp, and they go into their little hen house. The door closes. It's an automatic door, so it's set to close at 8 o'clock at night. And so when the door closes, they're in that hen house for the entire night, and that's where they sleep. It also keeps them safe from predators. So if there's raccoons or there's coyotes or there's hawks or anything that likes to eat chickens, we know that our chickens are safe in their hen house at night because they've got their automatic door and they're locked in and that keeps them safe and that's very, very important. Um, when they wake up in the morning, the door is set to come up automatically at six o'clock in the morning. So then they come out and they immediately go over here to their food. So what do chickens eat? Well, this is chicken feed and it's just kind of granules of um, good food for them. It's got protein, vitamins, minerals. It's kind of powdery and easy for them to eat. Uh, and it provides them everything that they need for it to grow. And this is one of the ways that I feed them is I just pour it into this pie pan and they come over and they eat some from there. But then we also have this type of a feeder. And this type of a feeder, you shake it, you fill it up, fill up your chicken feed into this feeder, and then you shake it down, and then they come around and they peck at the food. And this has the chicken food in it as well. You know what else I like to give them? Is they love fresh fruits and vegetables. So they eat kale, spinach, strawberries, apples, they've had bananas, they've had blueberries. So anytime you have leftovers from your fruits and vegetables, they absolutely love that. So we throw that in the coop as well. And then look at the water. Their water is much like the chicken feeder where we fill it up and then it automatically comes down and um, they come over and get a drink of their water. Okay, now listen. Listen to the chicken clucking. Can you hear that? So Lucy is telling us that she's laid her egg. And so we're going to come around and see if we can see that egg. Okay. And look, we've got three eggs. We've got three eggs. So this egg is from Betty. This is the sage green egg from Betty. And then I'm going to place it over here for now. This is the light blue egg from Carolyn. And then Lucy just laid, and look, there's a feather stuck to it, just laid this brown egg. And that's what she's letting us know with her cackling. She's saying, hey, mom and dad, I just laid an egg. I want you to be happy for me. And we are. We love our Lucy, don't we? Okay. So that gives you an idea of what the eggs look like. That was perfect timing for our chickens to give us that, right? Mm. Okay. So we're going to walk back over here, and there's Lucy, and see, she's going to have something to eat. And she's still, she's still letting us know she laid an egg. Isn't that a funny sound? Absolutely. So 
do you know that there are almost over a hundred different breeds of chickens, really? <laughs> and it depends on where you live in the United States, where you live in the world. There's different breeds of chickens that come from different countries. So we're going to be getting ready pretty soon to add to our flock. We're going to get about three more chickens. And when you introduce new chickens to your existing flock, and that's what I've got right now is I have a flock of four chickens. You have to keep them in a separate coop, but allow the, your older flock to be able to see them. And so you do that for about two to three weeks so that they see each other, but they don't meet each other. And then finally, after two or three weeks of watching each other walk around, then you take your new chickens out of their little pen and you put them in with your existing flock and then everybody gets together. What? While they're asleep. While they're asleep. Oh, my husband wanted to tell me while they're asleep. So um, we're going to be doing that shortly and adding to our flock. And then we'll have a total of seven chickens at that time. Now, chickens lay um, in warmer climates more than they lay in cold climates. So for our chickens in Northern California, they're young chickens. They're about a year old and they continued to lay through the winter time and we were getting about um, an egg a day. If I was living in a colder climate, like if I lived in Minnesota or Wisconsin or somewhere where it gets very cold in the winter time, maybe even Canada, my chickens might not lay in the winter time because it's too cold. They need sunlight, they need to run around and experience that daylight and that helps their system produce their eggs. So chickens in colder climates or where they don't get a lot of sunlight will slow down considerably during the winter time in laying their eggs. Now we're not going to eat our chickens. We love our chickens, they're our pets. Some people will have backyard chickens and they'll actually eat them for dinner. They'll roast them, they'll fry them, all that deliciousness. But we love our chickens like pets, so we're not planning on, on eating our chickens. But boy, oh boy, are their eggs good when we cook them and put them into our cookie recipes and things like that. So we really enjoy that a lot. Is Ethel having a dust bath? They might like to see that. Oh. I don't know. I can't. Oh, let me look and see. No, I think Ethel went up into the coop. Nope, oh, it's her turn for an egg. Yeah, so Ethel went up into the coop. Let's see. Paul, why don't you look inside of the uh, coop and see. Is Ethel in there? I don't see her. Oh, well. Maybe she's up on the perch. She is, where's the perch? Oh, oh. let's see if Ethel's in here. Oh, there she is on the other side. Oh, she's on the other side. She is laying an egg. Okay, it's Ethel's turn to lay an egg. So we have to we have to give her her privacy to be able to do that. So let's walk outside now that we've seen the chickens and we've seen what they eat. I'm going to show you some other things that I do for them as well. So I'm going to close this up and we make sure we always put the latch on. Always put that latch on to make sure that... Um, that animals and critters don't get into the chicken run. So if we go over here, I'll bring it out, Paul. Chickens have to have treats too. So when we give them, when we give them fruits and vegetables, those are considered to be treats. And then they've got their regular chicken food that's got all of their protein, vitamins, and minerals. But then they have something that's called scratch. And this is scratch. And scratch is a treat for chickens. They call it chicken's junk food. So think about what, what do you think your junk food is? Do you like to eat candy or cookies or potato chips? This is the chicken's candy or potato chips or cookies. So it's a combination of different seeds. Um, sometimes there's some sweet seeds in there. And when we give them the scratch, they just love it. So you know what, I'm gonna show you how much they love that scratch. So Paul, come and follow me. Let's go back into the coop and watch what happens when we give them their scratch. Hi girls. Here they come. They're like, yeah, thank you. Thanks for my cookies and my candy and my potato chips here. That's what I love. 
Yeah, that's what I love. And let me see if I can pick up Carolyn so she can say hi. Let's see if I can pick up Carolyn. Carolyn, can mommy pick you up? Let's see. Let's see. Nope, she's not gonna let me. She's too nervous with the cell phone. But anyway, so. Get out of the food, Betty. <laughs> Betty's standing in the food. All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed meeting my chickens up here in Northern California. You've learned a little bit about uh, chicken eggs and how they can be different pretty colors depending on the breed of chicken that you have. The white eggs that you usually see at the supermarket that your mom and dad may bring home um, to your house, those are from special chickens that are raised just to lay those white eggs. But for the most part, eggs can come in a variety of different colors. So um, that's something new that you've learned today. And um, you've learned a little bit about where chickens sleep at night. You've seen where they kind of run around during the daytime. You've learned about the kind of food that they eat and where they get their water from. And I hope that someday you might be interested in also having some chickens in your backyard. It's very fun. We love our chickens very much. And we hope you guys have had fun meeting our flock. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.